in our summer holidays, we spend some days in the Algoi. Beneath our log cabin is a nice creek, and our children love to play there. But getting to the other side of it is difficult if you don't want to get wet shoes. And we had only one pair of rubber boots. So we decided to build a bridge. We did a precise survey of the area first and plotted the profile of the creek to make a proper plan. The bridge project then gave us a welcome excuse to visit a nearby sawmill because we had to buy some lumber. Our plan was to make a suspension bridge with 8 mm steel cables and two pillars, 10 meters long and 80 cm wide. We intended to line up 30 boards along the steel cables by taking the cables between the boards and some blocks with lengthwise cuts. Here the preparation of the boards and blocks. Making the boards with the help of the children was fun, but we couldn't do all 32 of them at once. Kids are no robots and yes, we were on holiday. But after a few days of doing this, whenever the kids wanted to, we were finished. Then I put some color onto the surfaces. Now it was time to prepare the steel cables. On one side of the creek I drilled holes into some big and heavy stone blocks and screwed in the eye bolts. On the other side there were no big stones so I had to ram some poles into the ground. Bending the stiff steel cable into loops and fixing them with clamps wasn't easy. I improvised a vise with some leftover blocks and that did reasonably well.
then came the most exciting moment. Everything was prepared and carried to the creek. All there was left to do was to hook the cables to one side and to put the parts together. In fact, we had a little problem with tightening the other side of the cables, but with a few mechanical tricks we managed that as well. The bridge has turned out exactly as we had intended. From the leftover boards we made a water channel to increase the fun with this water playground. When the holidays were over, we simply took the bridge down and stored it for next summer. <laughs>